Hey guys, this is Mahone. This video is brought to you by NACCS and Skybox. In this video, I'm going to be using Skybox to break down one round from the NACCS NACL Grand Finals match between VCU and UT Austin. I'm going to show you guys all the cool features that comes with using Skybox and why I believe it's the best tool for demo reviewing out there right now. So let's get started. So this is a Skybox web interface. This is the replays page. This is where you go to access and upload your demos. As you can see, I've already uploaded a number of demos already before, including the UT Austin VCU game. Whenever you upload a demo, a match page gets created, so let's go to that. When you open a match page, you'll see a breakdown of everybody's statistics in the game, so you can see their kills, assists, their deaths, their ADR, their KAST, something very similar you'll find on HLTV. In addition, you can just see a general overview of how the game went in terms of the rounds, or you can see how many uh, rounds a team strung together. But what's more interesting is actually this rounds tab. And in this rounds tab, you'll see a more detailed breakdown of each round. They'll show timestamps of when each kill happened, who killed who, and the gun they were using. So you can already get a pretty good idea of the pacing of the game just by looking at uh, this breakdown here. In addition, you can see the investment that teams made into each round. So you see here a full buy semi eco, a full buy full eco. As well, you can filter by the round win condition. So this is all the enemies being eliminated. This is uh, all the rounds where the bomb exploded. This is all round defusals and this is when time expired. So you can see it's a pretty comprehensive view of just seeing how the game went without even loading into the client. But the real magic is loading into the client, so let's get into that here. Okay, here we are in the client. As you can see right away, uh, this is a recreation of the CSGO game. And it actually runs on a slightly different engine, so it's not the same engine that CSGO runs on. And this is a game changer because what it allows us to do is there's actually this timeline on the bottom and what it allows us to do is actually fast forward and rewind very quickly. If you deal with the demo uh, UI at all in CSGO, you'll know that trying to go backwards is very painful. You have to wait a couple minutes depending on how far you are in the demo. But Skybox, they make this easy because you can do this in a matter of seconds, right? This is very quick to be able to review certain details, certain situations, and just not have to waste so much time review, uh, going back and rewinding around. So with that, let's just get started with looking at this round. What we're going to see is that UT Austin, they're going to be doing a bit of a long A control as uh, it's actually going to be very f it's actually going to be very fast. And we can see the flashes that they're throwing. We can see the timing of it as well. We can see if there are people towards long A, would they get blinded from some of these flashes, right? Is the timing of it slightly off? In my opinion, I think this, the flashes are slightly off here in terms of the timing of them. They definitely should have been staggered a bit more. And what we'll also see is that Kenshi, he actually has a bit of space and time to be able to get this first kill. However, part of the reason why he's able to do so is that he actually throws a flash over the building before he peeks. So there's the flash and he's able to peek. And we can see that his flash is actually very effective as well. After he throws a flash, we can see who it blinds. And we can see that Mega Man zap and skips. It actually gets them quite well. And it actually buys him a bit of space and time for him to peek into Puster and get that kill. So Kenshi, he's trying to get away at this point, but skips, he catches him off guard. What we're also going to see is that blur, he's actually towards the A site. And he actually does have a flash. He has a flash first for Kenshi to be able to peek. So you can see his flash in addition to uh, Kenshi's building flash or over the building flash is going to help him get that kill. However, after he gets that kill, we can see that there's a slight hesitation on blur's part to be able to throw a second flash. That slight half second delay could be the difference between Kenshi getting alive or not. So after that, Kenshi ends up dying due to the slight delay of the flash. And then Skips actually, uh, he gets traded out by Blur. But what we'll notice here is that the spacing for UT Austin is actually not too bad. Blur is able to find that kill into Skips, but Mega Man's app, he's already right there ready to get that kill. Ready to get that trade, and he does. So now it's a 3 on 3 situation. But what we can also review very quickly is what else was happening elsewhere on the map. So what we'll see here is that uh, Lep and Wolfi. Lep and Wolfi, they're going to be going towards B. And there's going to be a Molotov at the start of the round at B. And then Wolfi is going to try to post up B plat. As soon as there's uh, a bit of presence at long, you can see that the rotation is going to be coming through. Wolfi, he rotates through window. Lep, he's going to go through upper B tunnels. And you see that Wolfi, he's already in position to be able to spot this cross. What you'll see here is that uh, at the same time, at the same time when that long presence happens, you'll see that AK, the virus, he's going to take control of cat. He's going to actually peek towards middle to see if there's anybody out there. 
He realizes that there aren't. And at this point, it should be a clear indication to see cheese that almost all the terrorists are going to be going up uh, towards the long A area. The, the terrorists do have a smoke. And with the smoke, they're actually going to combine it with the flash as well. And you're going to see that this flash is actually somewhat effective as Wolf Eye. You can see that flash actually gets them just a little bit. Buys them a little bit more insurance for them to be able to cross over. Once they cross over now, you're going to see that they're going to be able to get the bomb down. And something very cool that I want to show you guys is that there's this filter option at the bottom. And we can actually filter by grenades and certain events that happen. So I actually want to filter it by the Molotov. So this here in the timeline will show us every single time that a Molotov has been used. So this first one is actually going to be the one at B. So we can see Lep throws a Molotov at B. We can also notice here that there is no Molotov for long A. So maybe instead of peeking towards long A, Kenshi, maybe perhaps him or a teammate should be using a Molotov for long A. The next Molotov we'll see is actually towards uh, after the bomb plant. We're going to see a Molotov right there, the one towards Bricks. We're going to see another Molotov from the CTs. And that's going to be right there towards the ramp area. And then we're going to see another final Molotov and that's going to be a retake Molotov for the site. So you can see this filters option can be very helpful because if you want to see what kind of nades people use throughout the round or what kind of events happen, maybe you can see what prompted somebody to make a certain decision. We can do so very easily with the filters. So going back to the round now, going back to the round now, we can see they get the bomb down. They get the bomb down here. The Molotov comes through, and we can see that AK the virus, he actually tanks the Molotov just a little bit to be able to get this kill into Day Bay. It's down to 33 HP, but now 3v2 situation. Next thing that we're going to see is that Wolf Eye, he wants to take a fight towards the player Long A. He realizes that it's somewhat likely that there's probably going to be one more player towards the site, and he wants to fight the player towards Long A. What he's going to do is he's going to try to throw a flash towards this Long A player and try to take the fight. But what we're going to see is that Astrophysic, he's completely, he is unaffected from that flash. Not blind at all, he's able to get that kill. And we can review this very easily once again with Skybox, right? We can see exactly where the flash lands, right? Doesn't get him. We can see as well that he, he doesn't get blinded at all from it either. If we look at his POV here, he doesn't get blinded at all. He's able to find that very easy kill. Meanwhile, Mega Man Zap. What we're going to see from him is that despite this Molotov, he's still going to be able to get AK the virus. And now Lep, he's in a 1v2 situation. And in this 1v2 situation, he smokes the bomb. And the one th thing about Skybox as well is it'll show you exactly how much time is remaining on the bomb. right? So uh, when you're reviewing some of these situations, you can see, you know, did I really have time to make this play? Did they really have time to fake? You no, know, it's very easy to be able to look at this. And especially when he starts diffusing, you can see how much time he has remaining. So right here, 4.87 seconds. But in this round, we can see that Lep, after tossing the smoke in the bomb, he fakes, fakes the diffuse. He draws out one player. That's Mega Man Zap. He gets the kill. And we can see that uh, he's going to start sticking it in the smoke. And we can see that Astrophysic, uh, you know, he can't spot this at all. And there's actually something that we can use to, to be able to determine that. So if we go into the options here, we can use... Uh, go into the UI, we can use wide FOV markers. Let's click apply. What Wide FOV markers, what this allows us to do is to basically, as you can see, this is his field of view uh, so that we don't have to actually go into his POV to find out. So even during this retake, we can see this is exactly what everybody can see at any moment. As what, If there's something that they can't see, it's going to get obstructed. So you can see Lep here. He's not able to see past this box, but he's able to see more towards the right. If we go to his POV, we can see that's relatively true. He can't see past his box, and that's what the whole goal of the wide FOV is. Now, the one thing is, is that, uh, you know, once again, towards that diffuse situation, we can see that uh, astrophysics, he's not able to see this at all because the smoke is up. So even account for smokes as well. A very, very cool feature to use. Another thing that you can use in Skybox, I'm just going to turn this off. Another thing that you can use in Skybox as well, is we can use the Glossify Map feature. So for example, uh, if we want to review that situation where Wolf Eye, you know, he's peeking this this angle, right? Or maybe we want to see somebody who's, maybe he's trying a wall bang or something like that. We can verify how well that's going to work with this Glossify feature, right? It'll basically show you uh, through walls and everything like that. So very cool feature that Skybox allows you to have. And at the same time, 
once again, the biggest power is being able to review and fast forward into these rounds very quickly to review some of these situations. So, you know, for example here, maybe Mega Man Zap being the spot, maybe he shouldn't have been peeking so aggressively here, right? Maybe he could have just waited a little bit more uh, for Lap to, to make his move first. And as well, you know, once again, with the diffuse timers, you can see exactly how much time was remaining, right? He had 3.63 seconds left. He didn't have time to fake for this. He had to, he had to go for it. But as you can see, you know, a round like this can be broken down very quickly. You know, something like this would take normally, uh, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes to do so with all the rewinding and all the, and all the information that we get from Skybox in such a short amount of time it makes this a very powerful tool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you check out Skybox as well as NACCS. Both of them are doing great things in Counter-Strike. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.